the path of the triumvirate, moving through space. These are all the constructions of how it laces together and starts creating all the geometry that there is. I'm going to go to the movie. Let's go to the movie. And what I want you to do is I want everybody, I'm going to try this again. I want everybody to forget everything you know. Good luck. Easier said than done. I want you to not know anything. Where do we turn off the lights? Sorry, go back. Just, uh, uh, I want you to. Uh, all these needs over here, you just push down. Push down. David? No. Uh, do you want this music, on or off? Does the music go on? There it goes. Uh, I have some sound, so I'll let Okay, let's put the music on because the music is very important. And can we put it on full screen? Yeah, I will. This is the path of the Tryon Ray. My friend Francis Bade, who's here today, did all the computer graphics for me all to right. do this. We've been working on this for about almost a year. And, uh, and this is five minutes and four seconds long, and it's everything I know. So if you have any questions, do not put them in a mathematical formula because I will not understand what you say. <laughs> but if you want to sit down and play with me, we'll have a lot of fun. Let's uh, see the video. There are a lot of other things we're going to talk about, but you know what? This is a whole new place. If we haven't changed the course, our, if we haven't changed our course from what I've shown you today, then I don't know what more to say. I don't know what more to show you. Because we got the geometry of light, the path of the trion ray. Where's the other lights? Let's get the quant music for sure. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't see anything. So. Oh. Okay. This is the electromagnetic field. The rays are moving, light is moving in the universe from every direction and every dimension. Electromagnetic field attracting the solar dust around it, creating a surface. The surface is created by an electromagnetic field that's, that's created. By, this, by the whole line structure of the triad ray. This one I made especially for everyone who's in the trial kind of interests. Making our tetrahedron, triad ray is coming in, weaving that cosmic loom. I can't believe we don't have the sound. Well, How would the uh, laptop sound? Why not use that? Look at all the space we have. Now, here it's coming. Now we got a cosahedron in the middle. All made of triumph rays. Then more are coming. We got a truncated dodecahedron. Now, now we've got another dodecahedron. Now it's coming out to the next level. Now we've got another dodecahedron. Now we've got parts of it. And we can pull things out of it because all the structure is in there. Cubes are in there. Triangles are in there. Everything's in there. And now we're looking at the surface. Now we're cutting the slices. We're cutting the slices. Of, this is all empty space. This has never been seen by anyone before. You're the first people. Can't count me as people. <laughs> My wife says I'm a alien anyway. Structure being pulled out of the sphere. Coming back in again. All coming back in, creating your sphere again. There's this myriad of ways you can start dividing up space that have not been available thus far because we don't even know it's there. Now, you want to build a, uh, there's your toroidal, here's what I like to build. This is what I want. People say, well, gee, why didn't you build the toy again? I did the toy, I'm not doing the toy again. What I'm doing is I want to build the solar collector out of that sphere that you're looking at right there. Because I know I've got enough surface within that sphere that it would take acres and acres of land, flat land, to have as much surface. Because it's all 
inside. There's space between everything. Circuit, if you built a computer chip like this, it wouldn't get hot because there's enough space for the heat to dissipate. This is how nature does it. Now this is if we did it in straight lines. And there's one thing that would be different if you do it in straight lines. Each line, the lines would be different. Uh, the lengths of the sticks would be different. When it curves and bends, then it compensates. Truncated tetrahedron is coming out of the sphere. Then all these spheres coming together. Now we got a con now we got another structure. And inside of there, there's other spaces being created. You can almost see now tetrahedron, the 20 tetrahedrons coming off. Boom, coming back in. How does it, you know? I'm a gardener. I love to work in the garden. And I love to watch those trion ray come down and enter the earth and hit my seeds and convert themselves into real things, into something I can eat. And this is how it does it. Photosynthesis, it was, it was described one time. It was described, as, oh, how does that have work? How, how does that work? Well, that works by photosynthesis. <laughs> photosynthesis, what does that tell me? Oh, well, that's how the light changes into chlorophyll and sucks it. <laughs> that's nature. How? How does that light transform into something else? Relativity. It's real simple to me what relativity means. Any child can understand it. How is everything related? To everything else. We are all related. What is that relation? Carl Sagan said, we are the stuff made of stars. Well, if that's so, and he was a lot smarter than me, then we're connected right now to these, to the light. We're related. We're relatives. Thank you very much. Uh, this evening, we're having a, uh, a, anyone who wants to come to Laguna Beach, I'm going to have a little uh, uh, after party. Uh, I've got a couple cases of champagne on ice. All right. And food. And uh, cause this is it. I'm done. This is it. I want you to know something. I'm done. I've got 40 years invested like Moses in the goddamn desert. <laughs> now, you people who are you people didn't get what I just did. I never have to do this again. <laughs> no, but we'll come tonight together. I doubt about coming tonight. Huh. I don't, you know, I show this to regular people. And we are regular people. Because I got a light show. I got about 40 lasers at home. And I shoot the lasers with these crystals that I've made. And people say, wow, that's cool. Wow, that's neat. I don't need no wow and neat. I don't need <laughs> wow and neat. I need to be, let's get with it. Are we going to do something about it? Are we going to do take some action with it? Have we changed any of our minds? Can we can we convert this into something? That's what I want to talk about. Yes, ma'am. Another question. Excuse me. Microphone. I can't hear. I'm deaf. Yeah, come up here. I'm, I'm married, so I went deaf. <laughs> I do. I do need to By say design. That. The cafeteria does close at six. Right. So it's quarter to six already. And I, you know, you, you can you can talk with him. He's uh, those who want to go. To, how do they get there? You're gonna have to carry. I've got uh, maps. Francis has maps. Uh, okay. If there's any other people who want to go with any other people uh, and, and, and pull a carpool far out, I don't right, know. Yeah. So that would be a, a very nice trip tonight. One of our social, artistic, and scientific all together. So uh, he can give you the information. But again, if you are in the dorms and you do need to eat your meal, you have 25 minutes to get there before. They I'm going to show you one thing more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you the finishing proof. Francis, right. hit the lights. This is a ray of light. This is a laser. I'm shooting the laser away from the bottom. 
Do you see what's happening? 